Texas Health and Human Services releasing new guidelines over the weekend for nursing homes, allowing families back in by lessening restrictions on visitors. But not all nursing homes are going to be able to comply. KLBK's Grace Morris found out today these regulations, what they mean for nursing homes and families. Grace, were nursing homes prepared for these new guidelines? Terry, several nursing homes I spoke to said they were almost blindsided by these regulations and are now scrambling to adjust their policies to allow families to visit once again. But even with these new regulations, one woman I spoke to whose mother's in a long-term care facility says they aren't enough. Mary Nichols hasn't seen her mother in almost five months. I'm fairly confident that I'm, I'm not going to see my mother alive again. Her mother is immobile in a nursing home, which has been on lockdown because of COVID-19. I think we're every bit as essential as the guy that comes in and fixes the toilet. I think we're just as important as all these other non non-medical people that have access to our loved ones. On Friday, Texas Health and Human Services released new guidelines lifting some restrictions on nursing home visitations, forcing nursing homes to adjust since many didn't know these new regulations were coming. We had heard nothing um, at all until it was actually announced on the news. The new regulations require any nursing home to prove no one in the facility has tested positive for COVID-19 in the last 14 days and requires staff to get tested weekly. Families are also not allowed to touch residents. Instead, they have to meet outside or with plexiglass between them. But at Fountain Hills, they can only allow visitors to meet outside. In order to have inside visits, you have to have some kind of a plexiglass booth. Um, that's not a feasible for us, a feasible option. And because of issues like this, nursing homes are not being forced to comply with these new regulations. And Fountain Hills is hoping to allow visitors as safely as they can. There's safety and there's quantity of life and there's quality of life, but I'm encouraged that um, we're able to kind of consider the quality of life um, that these people have. But Nichols hopes the restrictions will change further to allow her to care for her mother once again. Nichols has also started a petition asking lawmakers to allow one family member access to see and care for their loved one who's in a nursing home. That petition now has more than 12,000 signatures. And Texas Health and Human Services also said that new regulations for nursing homes might come in the next few months. Terry.